Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my coffee time with God. My right now, my go-to is just coffee with nut pot moment. Well, while I was sharing uh, the sacrifices that my mom had made during Mother's Day, God was convicting me at the same time. Uh, this time, uh, He was reminding me of all the dumb decisions that I have made. And that made my mother worry about my own safety. I'm reminded one time that I decided to leave the States to go to China for indefinite time. And when I told my mom that I was going to leave for that indefinite time, I remember she told me that there isn't anything we can't solve together as a family. However, my mind and heart were so hardened that no matter what others said to me, I couldn't hear, especially my own family. I know I've hurt my family the most, I think it took at least 10 years before we are able to heal a little. And even till today, I'm not sure what kind of lasting effect my decision had on them. Today, I want to apologize to my mom, my family for putting them through all the dumb things that I have done. However, I believe God is sovereign. He is still in control. Without those experiences, I wouldn't have arrived where I am today. And so even for today's story in 1 Samuel 13, it speaks of the story of Samuel rebuking Saul. Yesterday we read in Abba's heart, Israel had asked for a king to rule over them instead of the king. You see, Saul recognizes that God has so much power. However, he was losing faith of his own troops. Therefore, he sought after a ritual offering only was supposed to be with his prophet. He was basically using his own understanding to change the outcome or even stay in control. And so the first thing Samuel said was, what have you done? And Saul goes on to explain in his fear, he just did what he did, what he thought was right without really seeking the Lord. Do we do that often? We operate in fear instead of in power. Today, let us examine our own actions, our thoughts, our attitude. Are we honoring God in all those aspects? Or are we exercising in our own understanding? Let's all come to the Father that can heal and take away your fear. Well, God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow. Do not forget to subscribe down there.